The Atlanta Hawks have been knocked out of the playoffs. It is time to make a, a knockout rebuild here, an elimination rebuild of the Atlanta Hawks. Now, there are rumors, there are noise, there's noise around the league that there will be more super teams being built in this offseason um, to go up against the, the Nets and teams like that. You would expect the Lakers to go for some big-name players, some guys that could definitely help them take the load off of LeBron. Um, with that being said, though, with that being said, what I think... Um, even if the Bucks win the championship or the Suns win the championship, they will not be the favorites going into next season. That's just the way I see it. I feel like the Lakers are going to be one of the favorites. The Nets are still going to be one of the favorites. Healthy, those teams are still dangerous. The Lakers add even more players. Uh, they get even more dangerous. The Nets, there's rumors of like somehow Kevin Love or something out there. I don't know if they make different type of moves, what happens with them. But why not build a super team here in Atlanta? You have the young pieces to be able to trade away. I am going to keep some of the young pieces. Some of the young pieces might go, uh, but why not? Why not? You have it. You have the options to go trade for like a top, top, top guy. I know you might want to wait since you guys are still relatively young but i'm hungry after seeing that you guys have reached the west i'm mean not the west the eastern conference finals let's build kind of a dynasty not go and get like super old guys uh but but guys that are stars in this league drop that like subscribe if you're new but let's get to this now we also do have the 20th overall pick that atlanta has Ooh. Who's, who's not a free agent currently right now that is kind of on the trading block? Ladies and gentlemen, Bradley Beal, clearly one of the high-coveted guys in free agency in this offseason, whether he'll be traded or not, is, is up in the air. And I'm going to go try and get him sometimes. It says he's untouchable, but right now I don't think he is. Um, Kevin Herter, <laughs> he's a guy that I see less likely become some type of a star on this team uh you don't know with deandre hunter um obviously the high high value guy cam reddish can definitely see him becoming a a super bucket a super bucket next next season he might be coming off the bench as like uh uh james harden type role when he was with okc and once like six man of the year and was a beast and you could see you could see that he was going to become something. So Cam, Cam's a beast. I want to keep Cam here. Uh, and then obviously John Collins is also up in the air for you, Atlanta uh, Hawks. They obviously didn't want to pay him the max. Do you pay him the max now? Is he a max guy? Is he a guy you give that much money to? Or do you sign and trade him somewhere else and, and build around the guys that you currently have? Is he that big of a piece that if you get rid of him, you're losing and that, that's the question i guess you guys got to answer to yourselves i'm gonna see if this goes through it's not going through of course we'll throw in our 20th pick and then we'll throw even more picks unprotected 2022 we're here to win a championship we're here to make a team that is as competitive against the brooklyn nets against the lakers that might improve their team against another team that might add somebody else let's say the denver nuggets add even more guys a healthy jamal murray nicole Jokic, michael porter jr improving that looks like a deadly team let's say the suns win and somebody and the suns add somebody let's say the bucks win and the bucks add somebody you never know they don't want this um what if i finesse them even more and make gallinari like a small forward you know what i'm saying or one of these guys a small forward they'll probably go up and might give me a little bit of an edge but i don't know what else to throw in here besides like one of these young guys which is gonna kind of it's gonna pain me it's gonna pain me to throw him in but it's most likely what would be involved are they deandre hunter or a cam reddish i'm gonna be honest i want to keep cam reddish I want to keep Cam Reddish bad. DeAndre Hunter um, was injured. So I guess it might have to involve him. It might have to involve them. You got to give them young pieces to build around. If we're getting an all-star at 28 years old that could score 30, that could be the, the perfect number two alongside uh, uh, Trey Young. So we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I just really want to keep Cam. Three first. Does it go through? It does not go through. It might, it might not go through. This might not be it. This might not be it. Maybe they don't want the 20th overall pick, so I'll throw in a 2023 overall pick. Still nothing. Still nothing. Can they accept another player? Who else did I have in here? Bogdanovich, right? Like, legit, low-key, if the Hawks wanted to make a trade package for one of these rumored guys, they can, and they would have one of the best trade packages. They would. They simply would. So uh, if they make a move in the offseason for somebody that's uh, in, in, in trade talks, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I would say I told you so because they, they have the youth to do it. They have the youth to pull it off. You saw that they went out. Trey Young wanted to compete now. You saw that they listened to him. They went out, got Gallinari. They went out, got Capella. They went out, got Bogdanovich. They went out, got Lou Will. They, they did things. 
and you know they will continue to do things to improve this team to the best of their ability. I really don't want to get rid of Clint Capella, but his value is nutty. His value is nutty, so it might be a yes here, uh, depending on who else I add. Probably got to, oh my god, I'm going to add Hunter. No, wait, who did I have? Who do I have right now? Gallon oh, no, 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 I could have Kevin. Kevin, where you at, Kevin? Come here, boy. And then we go ahead, give him the 20th overall pick, give him the next years, and then the year following. Still nothing for Bradley Beal, even though Clint Capella is right there. And overall, he's close. He's close at an 87. That's tough. How available is Carl Anthony Towns? Clearly a freak offensively. Uh, one of the best scoring bigs uh, the league has to offer. 25 years old. D'Angelo Russell, 25 years old. Do they want to go a little bit younger at a 23-year-old Kevin Herter? Add the pick that I have. Add more picks that I have. And would they say yes? That this might go through, and then you have a guard center combo that is pretty damn deadly. We got ourselves Carl Anthony Towns as another star alongside Trey Young. We got rid of our center and we got rid of Kevin Herter, but Kevin Herter is not impossible to replace. We got ourselves guys that will improve and become shooters. Already says DeAndre Hunter's a sharp shooter. We still have Gallinari. He might decline, but he's still gonna be a beast if we keep him. Lou Will. Lou Will also 34 years old, so I don't know if I bring him back. Onyeka could be my backup center and then eventually could take the spot. I don't know if he's gonna become better than Carly Towns, but we're making sure that we, we kind of still fit our timeline 25 five-year-old Carl Anthony Towns we made a move for him we'll see what happens John Collins I mean is it still true that y'all don't want to pay him the max I might just sign and trade him John Collins wants to go to the heat obviously we could match the sheet offer um we are going to we will bring him right back and um do I guess see how much money it is because I think it started at 27 million the max would start at 27 million is that what they gave him what did they give him it starts at 25.26 so it's a little bit less do we keep them because he accepted a little bit less than the max? I guess it's the max that they could offer because I think we could offer a little bit more as the team that drafted him and stuff like that. Um, what would the Heat, what would the Heat have to offer us? Let's say he did really want to go to the Heat. He's like, "Yo, I want to go play with the Heat." Um, they're giving me the absolute max. What could I bring back? They wouldn't bring Adebayo. We wouldn't get Jimmy Butler. I guess we could get Tyler Hero out of it. Tyler Hero and Precious would be most likely the move that would come my way because that's literally all that they have. Like, would they even say yes to this? I'm going to try and offer it just because um, he wanted to go to the Heat, right? You would try to force a, a sign and trade to wherever he wanted to go if you don't want to pay him. So if we don't want to pay him, let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try it. We like what we have as far as this trade is concerned. I'll add seconds. I don't think I'd add first. I could add a million seconds if you want. But that's it. If not, we're keeping John Collins. And I'm happy with keeping John Collins because he's a stud. Okay, John Collins is staying. Good. I, I like it because then, I mean, we don't need Tyler Hero, really. Um, Precious, we know he becomes a freak in 2K. But in real life, no idea. Wait until the last day of free agency to sign a backup point guard. I think we also have Chris Dunn, which I'm really not mad about. But we're the only offer for Dennis. He's played in Atlanta before. He, uh, he hasn't gotten an offer. Um, we're giving him an offer, and he's going to be a great backup to us. And uh, we're looking freaking deadly. We're looking deadly. Player progression up four for Trey Young. Uh, town stays the same. I'll probably just throw him an untapped potential if I have it, depending on I didn't go and sign my staff. So just realized I am also in control of the Rockets. Whoops. Might have ruined some of that. I don't think I ruined anything. We should be good, though. Hopefully, player progression, <laughs> we'll go back to it. John Collins up two, up two for DeAndre Hunter. Uh, up in his three-pointer in Bogdan Bodanovic becomes an even better shooter. Gallinari only down one. Great. Uh, since he is already 33 and has gone through some injuries, that's 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 great. That's great for us. Onyeka goes up to uh, an 80. Cam goes up to an 80. 79 for Dennis, 77 for Chris, 75 for Bruno Fernando. Uh, we might just be on our way to an NBA championship after getting knocked out in the conference finals. Training camps. Don't know who my trainer is. Like I said, I didn't sign my staff, but I'll do it in the next offseason. Still kept a tremendous amount of depth while adding another star to the team. Would you rather have Carl Anthony Towns instead of Clint Capella while still keeping Onyeka, while still keeping DeAndre Hunter, while still keeping Cam Reddish, while still keeping your depth? I would accept this in a heartbeat if I was a Hawks fan. Trey Young, Bogdanovich, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns. Now, our 
defense might be a bit suspect considering Bogdanovich is a C minus, Trey Young is a D, uh, John Collins might be decent though. Uh, yeah, post defense is a B. Uh, Carthony Towns, of course, his defense isn't the greatest, but it's at a B minus. Uh, DeAndre Hunter, the one guy that we could look forward to to play in some type of defense for us, at least in the starting lineup. Um, and then Cam Reddish, what are you at? He's at an A. So like I said, I want him in like a James Harden role until he's ready to take over at the starting spot, probably shooting guard spot of Bogdanovich. Uh, DeAndre Hunter would stay out here for defensive purposes, shooting purposes, but this team offensively pretty freaking deadly. Rebounding wise, I expect them to rebound really, really well. Uh, we've gone nine man rotation. We've kept Nate McMillan. Um, I mean, he just did an outstanding job. He got you guys to the conference finals. Sure, a lot of injuries from other teams, but it's not like he could control that. He just did his job, got you guys deep, got you guys out here deep into the playoffs on a great run after not making the playoffs, after now competing at the highest level of basketball. Uh, look at this team, 80, 80, 80. Dennis is a 79 as my freaking ninth man. Good, because I don't need him taking away too many minutes from Trey Young. I'm giving 28 minutes to Cam Reddish. And we go ahead and see what this team can freaking do. Coach didn't want Cam to be my uh, sixth man. He wanted Onyeka, but it is what it is. Holy seven seconds looks absolutely ridiculous at four stars. He likes running grit and grind. I'm doing my thing, coach. I'm doing my thing, coach. And I'm taking us to the damn promised land. That's all I have to do. That's all I have to do. I almost got rid of John Collins. I did not. I made a trade for another star since the, the, the noise around the league is that there will be more super teams. So we'll see. So we'll see what happens. I'm out here to win a championship with the Hawks ASAP considering they just reached the conference finals and we were undefeated for a minute until we went up against Luka. The Suns beat us as well, but so far... We're going to be number one, I think, in the Eastern Conference. They take the momentum from last season. They believe. They believe now we are elite. We are one of the best teams in this entire league. Trey Young wins MVP. Number one in the conference. Number one in the power rank. We improve the team by adding Carlton Towns. There's rumors of Cat going everywhere, bro. Uh, Toronto, Houston, Lakers somehow. Warriors would be kind of interesting with the picks that they could offer to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Plus, uh, um, plus it'd be really freaking cool. You know, Anthony Towns alongside shooters. Uh, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. Uh, there's rumors of him going to Portland. There's rumors of him going to the Knicks. There's, there's rumors for him everywhere. And it makes sense. He's one of the best bigs in a horrible situation but trey young wins the mvp 28 points 12.5 assists 52 percent from the field 46 percent from three 93 percent from the free throw line the rockets take Cade cunningham he's out there balling out for them john wall is the sixth man for them because Cade's starting defensive player of the year jonathan isaac killian hayes most approved coach of the year make mate nate mcmillan and then same for our executive of the year that is us so here we are atlanta hawks all NBA first team for Trey Young. Of course, he wins the damn MVP. So you got to have him up there. Any type of defense? I don't think so, but I think our offense is that deadly. Here's your player stats. You saw Trey Young and his double digit assisting. Uh, 20 for Carl Anthony Towns with 10.2 rebounds, 5.3 assists, 1.2 blocks, shooting probably lights out. 49% uh, from the field, 42% from three, 89% from the free throw line. God damn. Uh, 16 and 8.8 .8 for John Collins, kind of like what he did this season. I think he scored like 17 and got seven boards or eight boards around there. Shot well from three with like three attempts a game. No complaints. No complaints. 13 for Bogdanovich, four assists, one steal a game. 11 for Gallinari off the bench. 11 for DeAndre Hunter as a starter. 9.7 for Onyeka. How much for Cam? Cam only 8.5? Brother, <laughs> I believed in you as my sixth man. 26 minutes a game. I guess his defense is really helping as well. And it'll just continue to improve anyways. Dennis, eight points. 10 for Onyeka, six boards. 10.8. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're beautiful. We're beautiful. I kind of want to see if any of them are mad. I don't think so. They shouldn't be. We're all happy. We're all good off the bench. We all like running seven seconds or less. And now I see my numbers from my team. S 10 games ahead of the Grizzlies. 12 games ahead of the Nets, our points per game, number one. Like I said, our offense was deadly. When you put play physical defense, it makes your defense pretty deadly too. That's why we're third in the league and number one in differential at 13. Now we're up against Orlando as our first opponents. They make it back to the playoffs. Uh, Marco Fultz, Gary Harris, Chuma, uh, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr. Wow, just the young guys. Just the young guys. They add Ennis Cantor. 
They had Keon Johnson, and they're just out here. They're balling. They they make it to the eighth seed. Maybe they win the playing tournament. That's still going to be a continuous thing, right? Are they just testing that, or did they just test it this season? I don't know. I kind of like it. Obviously, it kind of sucks for the, your team if you're like the seventh or eighth seed. You're like, damn, we should be in the playoffs. We shouldn't have to be playing these stupid playing games, but I like it. We destroy Orlando. Now we're up against my Bulls. Did they move? Did they make any moves? They add Jamichael Michael Green, which is honestly, I think, one of the, like the rumored guys that they might add just because he played in Denver and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see what happens. They add Muscala. What the centers? What the bigs off the bench? Y'all are doomed. That's not how you win. I expect to win. <laughs> I expect to win, considering we did win 65 games. We're beating teams by double digits. My Bulls are giving me trouble. My Bulls are giving me trouble. Oh, my gosh. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're out here, have eliminated the Chicago Bulls, and we're up against the Boston Celtics. Oh, where's Milwaukee? Milwaukee finished seventh. They get knocked out by Brooklyn. Boston beats Brooklyn, and we're up against Victor Oladipo. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Robert Williams, Moses Brown, Tristan Thompson, Al Horford, Peyton. Okay, what are you putting up? 16 and a half, five assists, three-point percentage sucks, field goal percentage is okay. Damn. 27 for Jalen, 32 for Jason Tatum. Ah. I guess this is where my defense comes into play, but also my star power that we have, especially at the center position in Carl Anthony Towns. Can they stop him? 4-1, easier matchup than the Chicago Bulls somehow. Also, I made a trade with Minnesota, right? They made it to the they made it to the second round. I don't feel bad then. Kevin Herter scored 18 there. He scored uh, 10 points a game for them during the season. Uh, he only got 23 minutes, though, uh, obviously because Anthony Edwards is ahead of him, scoring uh, a tremendous amount. D'Angelo Russell scored 28 for the season. Who else? They got Paul Millsap. What the? And then, uh, obviously, Clint Capella, a great rebounder that could help be a great help in, pick and in the pick-and-roll game. So, I mean, they got... Still nice pieces. They're still ridiculously young in areas, and they still got picks that we gave them. So they should be okay. We're up against another super young team. Uh, still kept Eric Bledsoe, Steven Adams, Jackson Hayes. Everybody's still there. This is the same old team. Plus Moses Moody. Plus Moses Moody. Do we have enough? It looks like it. It looks like it. We might have started a dynasty. We win right here. We should improve for the next season. I'm going for a quick three-peat here with the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, MVP, finals MVP, championship ring. Keep it going. He only shot 33% from three. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's got enough help as well. Player progression. I have signed Daniel Tice in free agency. Uh, Bruno accepts his qualifying offer, and I brought back Dennis as well and obviously matched the offer for Trey Young. He also was offered a, a contract by the Miami Heat. Of course, we're matching this one, and of course, he's worth the absolute max. Sounds goes up to an 89. Uh, 94 for Trey Young. John Collins goes up in his three-point uh, three uh, uh, rating. 84 for DeAndre Hunter. 83 for Cam Reddish. 82 for Onyeka. Uh, doesn't go up or down for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Dennis goes up to an 80, 79 Daniel Tice, 78 Danilo Gallinari. Um, makes sense. He's getting older and older. Um, I guess his replacement is Daniel. He's not going to score in bunches like that Gallinari can, but he's still super solid defensively, can stretch the floor, and his hustle is unmatched. Chris Dunn is still around as well. Bruno Fernando, 76 overall. Now to see who I give my untapped potentials to, and let's go for this repeat. And then a 3P. Pretty disgusting how young this team still is. With Onyeka being 21, Camp 23, Trey 24, 24 Bruno if you were to keep Bruno. 25 for John, 25 for DeAndre Hunter, 27 for Carl. Literally, most likely would be entering his prime now. And the depth, the depth on this team is insane. It's still insane. I can't complain about it. Bogey, do I start Cam? Oh, Cam starting at the 3? Coach wants to start him at the three. That means I'm starting DeAndre Hunter and Cam, and then we'll have B Bogdan Bogdanovich off the bench. Cam Reddish at the two. Um, six, eight. Six, eight shooting guard. Six, eight small forward. This team is big besides Trey Young. 
I know Gallinari would fit more into like the seven seconds or less roll, but I'm going to give Tice the minutes um, and hope for the damn best. Hope for the damn best. Yes, we're paying him like $20 million for uh, essentially nothing, <laughs> but it's okay. It's his last It's his last season. Minute distribution is fine by me. Um, Hopefully, we're still winning. We still have stars in, in Carnton Towns. John Collins is a freaking 87 overall. Trey Young a 94. Clearly our MVP here. Uh, seven seconds should still be the main thing we're running it's still the best thing we can run see you guys at the end of season number two added daniel tice our young guys still continue to improve make sure we kept trey young there's nothing else to do there's nothing else to do but just keep a solid bench keep who we can keep because we're gonna have to pay a lot of people uh, um and we're on our way we're on our way to a three-peat and just like that, number one, number one again, Trey Young, 32 and 13, even better than last season's 28 and 12.5. So, like, why wouldn't you give him the MVP again? Rookie of the year, Alan Quinn, Cole Anthony, six man, defense player, Jonathan Isaac, most improved, Jalen, Nate, 66 and 16. Then same thing for our executive of the year, Trey Young out here. Anybody else? Anybody else? Can we get, like, Carl Anthony? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Carl Anthony Downs makes an all-NBA third team beautiful now we just need somebody to make a defensive team and uh, my team's perfect and my team's perfect season stats player stats you saw trey young's towns 21 9.5 six assists almost a steal and a block beautiful 15 for john cons and eight rebounds 13 for deandre hunter with a little bit of everything else uh dennis 12 off the bench 11 for bogey off the bench 10.5 and 6.5 for onyeka off the bench cam reddish 10 as a starter his shooting numbers need to improve and they have and they have while also adding his defense i am not mad whatsoever gallinari would probably offer more points than daniel but it's okay. We'll go with his defense. His rebounding at four. His per 36 would be 11 and nine. Two blocks a game. So that's okay. He can stretch the floor a little bit as well. Whenever we need Danilo, he can come in. Whenever we need Chris, he can come in. Whenever we need Bruno, he can come in. The depth on this team is still insane. Still number one, but they are closer to us. Hornets 60 wins Um, our offense. Our offense is still number one. Our defense is number one this time, and we're winning games by 17. We're technically better than last season. I just want to see who they have. LaMelo, they add Gary for defense. They add TJ Warren instead of Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington, Andre Drummond. Hey, yo. They're making moves. Christian Wood, Derek Rose. What happened to y'all team? What happened? Michael. Michael Jordan. I guess uh, LaMelo Ball is attracting all these other players, huh? But we're up against Toronto as our first opponent campaign. Is there what? What? Um, Those numbers are atrocious. Fred is averaging 20. He's doing his thing. OG only 8. 21 for Pascal. Yep, makes sense. Oh, and they got Evan. They picked Evan fourth overall. Ooh. Ooh, 15 off the bench for Malachi. Okay, okay, okay. They got a nice little team, but clearly it looks like it's not enough, especially against us. Close to a 70-win team. We're beating teams by, like, 17 or whatever it was. And now we're up against, most likely, the, the super team. The super team and what we kind of built our team around by trading Carl Anthony Towns to make sure we stood a chance. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, Nicholas Claxton, Spencer Dinwiddie still there, DeAndre Jordan still there. Who is guarding Carl? KD, you ain't guarding Carl. You could try for a couple of possessions, but he's just going to hes gonna be too deep in the block. He's just going to post you up and hopefully ball out 4-0. They stood no chance against this Atlanta team, against this MVP, Trey Young. Trey Young's a monster. 4-3. Uh, okay, we're up against Boston again. They get their rematch. They still got Victor. Have they made any other moves? Moses Brown's still there. Aaron's still there. They add DeLon Wright. Peyton's still there. No real moves. No real moves. They just expect to uh, continue to improve their young guys, I guess, which could be frustrating to them, and they might end up getting mad and requesting some type of trade. We've dropped two games so far, a rematch against the Pelicans as well. So the conference finals and the finals have been the same for us. Nikhil, though, now starting, so that's a change for them. Lewis Jr. improves. They add Anthony. Willie they add Ibaka as well. So they got a little bit deeper. They got a little bit nicer. They're still scary. I'll, I, I'm going to say that. They're one of the scariest teams to go up against when you reach the finals. But this Hawks team is insane. Like I said, a new dynasty 
let's finish it on a three-peat you see that 35 16 assists and 50 47 <laughs> All right, let's go again. Let's one more time. Let's uh, re let's reach 70 wins then. Giving a bit more minutes to my starters out here than what is suggested. 31 for John, 31 for uh, Cam, and then 30 for DeAndre Hunter. Um, now my sixth man is Onyeka. So he's an 85 overall. Dennis is my seventh. Bogdan is my uh, eighth man, and my ninth man, Daniel Tice. This team is still stupid off the bench, like stupid. Stupid, stupid. We still have Bruno. We still have Danilo Gallinari off the bench as well if we were to need them. Um, we're good. We're good. The only thing that could be dangerous. Oh, never mind. I was going to say point guard, but we still have Dennis. I'm stupid. But since injuries are off, we don't have to deal with any of that. This team looks absolutely stupid considering they're all pretty much nine. They're close to 90s. Once they're happy in the offseason, I mean, in the postseason, he's going to be an 89. He's going to be an 89. He's probably going to hit 90. And uh, this team will be unstoppable come playoff time. They'll be unstoppable right now. Uh, system proficiency. I also gave a longer contract to Nate McMillan because why not? Um, balance is looking nice as well, but we're going to keep running with our bread and butter, which has been working in seven seconds. Playing physical defense. Uh, it should be a three-peat. It should be a three-peat. I will wait and find out. Three seasons in a row that Trey Young is the MVP. No Luka Doncic, no LeBron James, no Joel Embiid, no anything. No Nikola Jokic, just Trey Young MVP. MVP, Quincy uh, Person is the Rookie of the Year. Kobe White is the sixth man with the Rockets. Defensive player goes to Jonathan Isaac. Josh Christopher, most improved. Nate, 75 wins. And Lionel Barry Carroll, 75 wins as Executive of the Year. Trey Young, of course, All-NBA first team. I didn't even look at his numbers that time. Um, were they disgusting? Carl, again, in All-NBA third team. Any defensive team, just one, just one, just one. Nobody. Okay, understandable, understandable. Our team just keeps on improving this is literally like an 82 and 0 attempt 75 and 7 like this would be a good solid start <laughs> to an 82 and 0 video there's stats 29 13 assist he would he's uh, he's on his way if not would already be considered like the best point guard ever three mvps and he gets this three peat Three MVPs and a three-peat as being the best player on your team as a point guard. You might think I'm crazy, but I would crown him, especially with 13 assists in three seasons. Anyways, 22 for Carlton Towns. Nine. He just keeps kind of improving on our team. I guess getting a little bit more comfortable or something, but he's getting six assists, which is kind of insane. Uh, 16 for John Collins. He's just been, you know, consistent, super consistent. 15 for Cam Reddish now. Dope. Okay, buddy. Shooting 40% from three now, 46%. He's just getting better as well. That's why we are at 76 wins or whatever we're at. 13 for Dennis off the bench. 13 for Hunter as a starter. Uh, bringing in that defense for us and that ability to stretch the floor at a 46% clip. That is insane. 12 for Onyeka as a six man. Per 36 would be 19 and 12. Sheesh. 7.8 and three assists for my boy Bogdan and four for Daniel Tice. Not getting that many minutes. Um, We should be on our way to a three-peat simple we should be on our way to a three-peat i don't think any team is out here good enough uh 133 a game 113 a game we're winning by 20. the differential is 20 points this should be easy we're up against Embiid, tobias harris the team does not change they add carter um nah nah it's a nice little matchup with Embiid and Anthony Towns but no everybody else surrounding we're just better we could stretch the floor everybody's a stud on my team like I said they should have have improved out here wait not that not that coaching game plan what are they up to he's up to an 88 in the off uh, yeah postseason 88 89 postseason 91 there 96 there disgusting disgusting we're up against Cleveland who did they end up drafting Jonathan, okay, but he's still off the bench. Jonathan is there. They got Jared Allen, Thaddeus Young starting at the four. Isaac, Colin Sexton. They kept everybody. Building building through the draft, building through uh, uh, a few vets here and there. And free agency. They're going to ruin it for the great Atlanta Hawk team. Oh, they, they, they threatened us. There was a little threat there. That I felt that we could have lost. Wow. 75 and 70 is what you finished. I thought I said I said 76. My bad. My bad. 
But once again, a rematch here. Will we get a rematch with New Orleans? What the heck? It's been the same conference finals. Um, <laughs> we haven't been able to, like, match up with them earlier. Uh, so here we are again. Delon, no, though, is the starting point guard. The team is the exact same, ladies and gentlemen. It's the exact same. They add Lonnie Walker. They add Tate. So that's cool. But it's the exact same. They're not getting risky. They're not making a risky trade. They're not attempting anything. And for that, they keep losing in the conference finals. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was talking too much trash. 2K heard me. They were going to make Boston win. But we're up against New Orleans once again. Finally, a new finals. But do I want a new finals? Or are they going to beat me? They end up with Kevin Herter. Did they give him a huge contract? Is that why? 1.7. Nobody gave him a contract. Boy what um but they got themselves a shooter he's literally shooting 60 percent and 54 percent excuse me <laughs> excuse me and they got a super solid team clearly mvp nikola Jokic, middleton off the bat okay okay they got it they got it they got what it takes out here 100% they got what it takes out here to dethrone the Hawks and this dynasty that we're trying to run here. 100. But will they? But will they? They will not. We 4-2 them. They were staying even with us. They end up not being enough. They end up not being enough to this Hawks dynasty, to the greatest point guard to ever play the freaking game. Three finals MVPs, three regular season MVPs, three championships in a row. And it could possibly be more. Clearly, as a team that just reached the Eastern Conference Finals, they do not need much more. They have crazy depth. They need to their young pieces to continue to develop, and that'll make them even better. But why not try to go out and trade for one of these stars that is rumored to be traded away somewhere? Why not? But honestly, Hawks fans, you got a lot to look forward to. Your 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 front office, your front office seems to be listening to Trey Young, getting them help. Uh, um, Nate did a solid job. Do you all keep him? Probably. But the future is bright. But you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.